Our next set of guests are on the ground in Arizona, see the problems firsthand. Let's bring in Yuma, Arizona Mayor Douglas Nichols, Pinnell County Sheriff Mark Lamb, and Sheriff Mark Daniels of, help me out with that county, Sheriff. What is it? Conchise? Co Good morning, Pete. Cochise County. Cochise. I shouldn't have even tried. I should have let you do it. Gentlemen, thank you all for being here. Really appreciate it. Mr. Mayor, I'll start with you. When it comes to the apprehensions and the releasing that you're seeing right now, are you getting any input as to how, where people, when people are released? Uh, it, what is a mayor facing on, it, it, at this moment? So right now, we, we do have something set up. Uh, so we had some nonprofits uh, stand up to in order to receive uh, the releases, do the COVID testing, do the quarantining, and then transport to regional shelters. But that is just as we're able to keep the pace within the, uh, the parameters or, or the capacity of these nonprofits. If, if this skyrockets where these releases get up to the hundreds a day, uh, I don't really know if our nonprofits will be able to keep pace. And so as a mayor of the city, we just try to prepare for that as much as we can. Prepare for it as much as you can. I mean, that's pragmatic, but ultimately, if the number, <laughs> if the, well, if the numbers spike, you're, you're admitting that that creates a serious strain on services that citizens in your city use as well. Sheriff Lamb, let me ask you, what, this spike, how unprecedented is it? What are you facing? Oh, this is about like it was when Obama was in there, and uh, it's actually worse right now. What we're facing is we're daily, we're, we're having pursuits with these folks, we're having to go fish them out of the desert, and that's only going to increase as the temperatures increase. We'll spend the majority of our time this summer doing humanitarian and rescue missions with people left in the desert by the smugglers, basically left for dead. Uh, so that's an issue for us. And, of course, the health issues, that's one thing that concerns our communities, and I believe that Title 42 will go away soon, which is the ability to expel, expel them for under COVID. And once that goes away, that's going to put all of us in a, in, a, in a huge predicament, well, an even bigger predicament than what we're already in. It's a challenge that all of us sheriffs are facing. Sheriff Lamb, real quick follow-up with you. Because Border Patrol is spending so much time at these facilities processing migrants, are, they, are you seeing an uptick in what your sheriff's department is having to step in and do? Oh, absolutely. You know, and what they've done is forward deployed a lot of these guys from our our sector uh, that were that work with us. They're down on the border having to deal with all the children and all the other families coming across. And they're leaving wide open those areas where the cartel smuggles in humans and drugs. And that's what I get in my county. And that's what the sheriff, the sheriff Daniels gets down in Cochise County as well. Leaving wide open. Sheriff Daniels, uh, not only are you a sheriff, you're also the chairman of the Border Security Committee of the National Sheriff's Association, and you were also on the Homeland Security Advisory Council until it was dissolved just a couple of days ago. Talk to us about that. Well, I, I received an email uh, on Friday, no forewarning, nothing. Uh, opened up the email, it was from Homeland Security, it was to the HAC, which is Homeland Security Advisory Council. In that letter, uh, the secretary, Mayorkas, said he was honored to address us in paragraph one. Paragraph two stated that uh, we were being relieved, uh, unappointed, because this is an appointment. And so we were unappointed. All but three members of the HSAC were terminated from this advisory council. Now, and I'll say this to you, Pete, there's no better time, as Sheriff Lamb and the mayor said, to have an advisory council helping yes. us through this crisis on the border. So it was it was disappointing and disheartening all in one. If you would, Sheriff, can you explain a little bit more about Title 42? Because you've brought that up as well, and you feel like that's something that's currently being used that won't be. What, what does that mean? T Title 42 is the, during a health pandemic, where only safety essential travel into the United States is allowed. And it also allows Border Patrol, CBP, to expel them without a judicial oversight. So immediately they're expelled back into their country or where they've crossed at. What's happening in Texas is they're not they're not being expelled because the state south of Texas won't accept, or uh, Mexico won't accept them. Sonora, the state of Sonora, south of my, Arizona here, uh, my county, they still are accepting them. April 21st, Title 42 is set to expire. When that happens, we're gonna be seeing the exact same uh, problem that they're doing in Texas right now. It's concerning on April 21st what's going to happen. Mr. Mayor, real quick, one of the things you, you're concerned about, you say, it, which is being missed, is human trafficking. Mm 
Definitely. I mean, at the root of all this, this is a value that uh, I think the country, I don't care which side of the aisle you sit on, just are not going to sit still for, but we're not talking about it enough. When people leave their home in whatever country they're coming from, they're sold a ticket, literally sold a ticket into this country. And that process along the way, as well as when they even get to country and they actually have to pay for that ticket, is not a humane process. We, as a country, we need to find ways to disrupt that, not encourage it. Amen. Mayor Douglas Nichols, Sheriff Mark Lamb, and Sheriff Mark Daniels, thank you, gentlemen, all for what you do, for speaking out, uh, and we wish you the best. Godspeed. Thank you. Godspeed. Thank you. Appreciate it.